Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Know-It-All Ninja 3 Mark III and how to instantly step up your game when shooting panoramic photography. Welcome back friends. Today's episode is all about the Know-It-All Ninja 3 Mark III and Man, is this a good piece of equipment. It is compact, it's super versatile, can fit all kinds of camera bodies. How compact is it? Look at my cell phone, look at the piece of equipment. It's not very big at all. The Note All Ninja 3 is great for an amateur all the way up to a semi-pro seasoned photographer. So what we'll do is we'll talk about getting it out of the box, getting it out of your camera bag, getting it set up, getting a camera body onto it, shooting some images, and we're gonna have so much fun. But before we get started on any of that, I wanna show you what you're gonna get when you get yours in the mail. I wanna unbox this thing, kinda of peel it apart, and oh, it's gonna be fun. Come on, let's go for a ride. All right, here we go. It's behind the scenes. It's behind the lights. It's behind the camera. This is where the action takes place. We're going to talk about getting the Note All Ninja 3 Mark III on the top of this tripod head. Two major assemblies that this thing is made up of, the lower assembly and the upper assembly. The lower assembly simply screws on to the top of your tripod head. All right, so let's get that on there, just like so. And once it's on nice and tight, it's ready to accept the upper assembly. This is the center of the lower assembly. This is the outside. So when you're ready to put the upper assembly on, how do you know which side is which, right? Well, we put our Note All Ninja logo to the outside so it matches the outside of the lower assembly. Simply screw it on, nice and snug, and you're ready to put your camera body on it now because it's ready and prepared to accept it. You access this camera plate by simply unscrewing this upper rotator locking knob, moving this arm up, and tightening it back down. Now you've accessed your camera plate, get your camera body on here. Oh, that brings me to a great point. What kind of camera bodies does the Know-It-All Ninja 3 Mark III take? Well, various, really. It's quite versatile, like we said earlier. Little small compact camera bodies, just like this. Micro Four Thirds, maybe some larger compact camera bodies, you know, slightly bigger. A small DSLR camera body, which is what we're going to be putting on the Know-It-All Ninja 3 Mark III today. Nikon D70 with a Sigma 8mm fisheye lens. Once we've got all this prepared like we've already showed you, you simply take your camera body and screw it on, okay, till it's nice and snug. Now you're prepared to find what's called the no parallax point before you start shooting. The no parallax point, what is that? Parallax means the effect whereby the position or direction of an object appears to differ when viewed from different positions. For example, through the viewfinder and the lens of a camera. It is a complex thing. We're already gonna have it set up for this particular camera body and this lens, so we won't really walk through about how to find it, but what we will walk through is the important elements of this guy right here, it's called a stop plate. You hear that? It's sliding back and forth inside of this rail. This stop plate, once you find your no parallax point, makes your workflow super simple. If you're using the same camera body and the same lens for all of your workflows on this particular unit, you set that stop plate and you never have to think again, do I have it all right? It's got a magnetic wrench right into it right here. Look at that. It's so cool. The manufacturer literally worked with us to team up and say, how can we make this easy for the photographer? They put it right in there. So once you've set your stop plate and anchored it down, you simply slide it back inside and boom, it's all set up. You're ready to go. You put your assemblies together and because you've dialed those in, it's all locked down and ready to go. So there's also a stop plate up here for this upper arm and that's for the camera body sliding this way, right? So it bumps that stop plate, you're all set, okay? 
let's go outside. Let's have a little bit of an urban feel. Let's go out in the back of the warehouse and just take some photos and get it set back up, talk about the stop plates, and have a little fun. You ready to come with me? So we ventured outside, we're out in the field, might hear some ambient noise, planes, birds, automobiles. It's all good though, because as photographers, that's what we do. We go out in the field, we're around our elements, we hear, we see, we capture the world around us. We're gonna put this product on the tripod one more time for you, show you the setup. Are you ready? All right, just like we talked before, this is the lower assembly. It goes on the top of our tripod head and simply screws on. Once that's on there, it's ready to accept the upper assembly. Now that we have our lower assembly on, remember this is the center, this is the outside of the rig, right? This, because of our Note All Ninja logo, we know that this is the outside of the upper assembly. It simply screws on to the lower assembly, just like that, ready to go, nice and snug, okay? We wanna loosen up this upper rotator locking knob, unscrew that baby, move this arm up, tighten it back down so it holds our camera body, now we're ready to put our camera body on it. We have a small body DSLR, Nikon. Okay, we're gonna throw it right on here. And just like that, once you find your no parallax point, remember we talked about those stop plates. We simply loosen this up just a tad, slide that over until it bumps that stop plate, tighten it back up. How do we know we're in the center? Because we can see that it is cutting the camera and the lens right in half, right through the middle of our spirit level. Okay, there's other areas of the no parallax point that we'll be talking about later in another episode. This is simply about assembling the Note All Ninja 3 Mark III. So we found that, so with the lens that we're using, we're gonna dial this in at about seven and a half degrees, okay? And we also need to bump this camera all the way up to our other upper rail stop plate, which is what we're doing here, listen for it. There it is. Now, we've got all that set up, we're ready to actually begin shooting. We take our lens cap off, that's really important. Boom, and just like that, we took our panoramic image. There's also other cameras that you can put on this to give you what's called a multi-row panoramic image. That's where you take this degree setting on the upper rotator, and you might start at 30 degrees, right? And you have a longer telephoto lens on here, and you are shooting in multiple rows, right? So you're kind of clicking like this, boom boom, boom, right? And then as you get that row set, you move this upper rotator, maybe two and a half, maybe five, maybe seven, maybe 15 degrees. Based on the lens that you have, you snap some more images right in a row and you take those rows and you layer those rows in there, right? Step by step by step. That's the importance of this upper rotator locking mechanism right here. It locks your camera in and it has specific degrees based on the lens that you're using and the focal length that it's all at. So that's what a multi-row is as opposed to what I just shot, which is four around, panoramic, spherical, right? Circular, kind of spherical, 360 degree panorama image. The great thing that the Note All Ninja 3 Mark III can do for you is it can take a 360 degree spherical panorama image and it can also take what I just described as multi-row panorama images. Very big difference between the two images, but this tool will handle all of those. <sighs> that was so much fun. Hey, you can do panoramic photography. It's a ton of fun. The Note All Ninja 3 Mark III will be the precise piece of equipment that you need to help step up your game instantly. This will fit in your camera bag just about anywhere you can go. This thing will go with you. Jump on our website, purchase the Note All Ninja 3 Mark III today, and enjoy panoramic photography. Hey, one other thing. If you are loving these videos, hit the subscribe button. If you're loving what you see, go ahead and crush that button. And we will see you again on the next episode. Take care and have fun.